Now we're moving on to the chambered design of muffler, and we really gotta throw credit to a guy named Ray Fluger who founded Flowmaster and who in the 80s really popularized this design of muffler. There is no packing in these mufflers. There's nothing but a series of holes and baffles to direct the flow. And in some cases they claim, you know, create a vortex and things to actually draw exhaust through these mufflers. The things these are actually great for is they sound cool. They've got that 80s sound to them. And they're all made of steel. They're stout. They're essentially a skid plate. So if you've got like a low rider, a four x four, something that's gonna drag the ground, these things are awesome. Let's look at the four that I've got here, which unfortunately don't include any Flowmaster branded product because they didn't offer one under my $40 price point. Instead, right here, we have a Summit brand two chamber steel muffler at $29.99. Then there's one that is called a Rumble, and this thing is sold at Summit for $32.12. The Cherry Bomb Pro is their version of a two-chamber muffler. It's $33.99. And then there is a Thrush at $39.99. Now, if you look at these things, they're all very, very similar. But unlike those perforated tube mufflers that I showed you earlier in the show, where I was pretty convinced they all came out of the same manufacturing plant, these have small elements in them that make them different. Like, just look at the welding quality. The Summit one, frankly, looks like I welded it while eating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. The Rumble is a little bit better. I would say the quality steps up quite a bit when you get into the Cherry Bomb and the Thrush, but, you know, they're all gonna work. Let's have a look at how the chambers inside these things are designed. And once again, it is super similar. Let's start here with this Summit brand. I've taken a Sharpie and drawn on here what is going on inside the muffler. This is a steel wall that goes all the way through there, and this represents a two and a half inch hole where the exhaust comes in and goes through there. Then there is a perfectly pointed baffle that has some corrugation on it and another wall with a hole in it. Now that design is exactly the same inside the rumble, minus the corrugations on this wall, and then it's the same again in the thrush with the corrugations again. The only one that's really different here is the cherry bomb, and this is kind of interesting, because you can see on these, the exhaust is gonna be coming in the inlet right here, and it's going over here, even though the point in the wall is here. Whereas the flow is a little bit more directed on the cherry bomb, it's got just one big angle here with a larger area on this side. It'll be curious to see if that really makes a difference in sound or power, because otherwise, man, these are pretty similar. But we're not gonna know what's different about them until we go hang them on our engine and run them on the dyno, which we're gonna do right now. The first of the chambered mufflers that we're gonna run is a Summit 2 chamber at $29.99. So this is louder than the cherry bomb. It's chambered, it's, it's got no uh, packing in it at all, none. It was interesting that it was actually louder at idle, but quieter wide open than the straight through muffler. I preferred the sound of it, honestly. Next up, the rumble two-chamber muffler. Little more mellow tone, deeper tone than the Summit. Yeah, it seemed like it. Yep. Now we're moving on to the Cherry Bomb Pro. quieter than the other ones. Yeah, it was a mellow sound all the way through. Yeah. Let's try the thrush muffler. That's the last chambered muffler. The thrush welded unit. So we've wrapped up our testing on all of the welded chambered style mufflers. We've got them all on the same graph here. You can see they're really actually pretty tight. Yeah. In last place, we've got the Thrush welded muffler, which averaged 542 horsepower, followed by the Summit 2 chamber, which made 544, the Rumble made 546, and our overall winner in power in chambered mufflers is the Cherry Bomb Pro, which made 548.6. Actually, looking at it on an average, significantly better. Okay, guys, now I've got all of the DB ratings. So this is how loud mufflers are. So what do you want to know, loudest or quietest? I quietest. want the loudest muffler you've got. Okay, so, <laughs> Dulcich, the loudest muffler at wide open is the Rumble. Steve, the quietest one at wide open was the Summit 2 Chamber. And if you go to idle, then the quietest one was the Rumble. Oh. Oddly enough, it's quietest at idle and loudest at wide open throttle. 
and the loudest one at idle would have been the thrush welded. So, and but by ear sitting in here, they're all kind of the same. Pretty close. Yeah, they really are all kind of the same. But we're about to move on to the turbo mufflers where we're gonna be, I predict, way quieter and killing a ton more power. 